Good Saturday, everybody. Campbell, Marshall, KPRC2 Meteorologist. Here's what's going on for your day today. Look outside in Galveston. Looks inviting, doesn't it? It's going to be one of those kind of days. We're going to see some showers coming through, but before and after those showers, it's going to be on the warm side. Already feels like 103 as we're doing this late morning. Look at Miller Outdoor. By the way, they have a free concert there called Dumps the Funk. <laughs> 8.30 tonight. Free, by the way. Get out there. The showers will be gone by then. Already feeling like 100 degrees. That's going to be the trend throughout. See that 88 feels like 100? This is uh, the trend that we're going to be seeing with the dew points pretty high. So here's the deal. Temperatures right now, mid-80s, 87 degrees. Feels like 103 in Galveston, 103 in Palacios, 104 in Sugar Land. You notice areas to the south is where we have the highest feels like temperatures. We still have the southerly wind in play. That's going to continue to pump in that moisture, going to make you feel nice and warm and moist. Saharan Saturday dust is out there right now. We see some of that in the haze. Makes for those beautiful sunrises and sunsets, but there's dust in the atmosphere. We have afternoon storms that are coming as well. Maybe heat alerts will return tomorrow, as early as tomorrow. Certainly we can expect them as we get to the beginning of the week when the feels like temperatures may be close to 108 degrees. Normally our high is 94. Forecasting about 94 today at Bush and Hobby, 91 in Galveston, where the records are well out of reach today, thank goodness. We'll see that later on in the week. The re records will be in reach. Future track model showing Saturday. Look what happens going into like 2, 3 o'clock this afternoon. A broader coverage of showers and some thunderstorms. You see those oranges and reds. It's heavy downpours with some lightning associated with it. But it gets out of here by the time we get to the evening hours. It's diurnal. So every day we'll have a similar kind of scenario. The mornings will be the best time of the day. By the time we get to late mornings, we see what happens here. 3.30 or so storms going into Sunday. Then a little bit less on Monday. But that lessening amounts of shower activity means, of course, the increase in temperatures. We'll see those increase in temperatures going forward. Today, not bad. We're going to be in that 93 degree range at 5 o'clock as the Astros say the first pitch at 615. Going to be close to 92 degrees. So good thanks for air conditioning here. Look at the next 10 days. 94 to 98 to 100 by the time we get to Tuesday. 30% rain chances today. A little bit less tomorrow. Maybe a little less on Monday. I've got 20% both Sunday and Monday. But toward the middle of the week, 100 degrees. Those low temperatures don't get much below 80 degrees. So this morning... And the 74, by the way, you had to be real early to get 74 degrees, like around 3 o'clock. Uh, I don't know if you want to do that in order to get something below 80, but that's going to be the trend going forward. Be ready for that. Make sure that we get in the habit and stay in the habit of drinking plenty of water. Hydrate, hydrate, find that cool air whenever you can. Uh, Justin's off this weekend. Caroline Brown later on tonight. We've got U.S. Women's Open Golf tonight, so you won't see us at 6 o'clock. It will be a live stream, though. You'll be able to see it on our live stream at 6 o'clock. And then, of course, they'll be live at 10. Have a great day, everybody. See you next time.